This video is brought to you by viewers like you. Consider supporting us on Patreon. Uh, yo, 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 what the fuck is up everybody out there on the YouTube doors? So you got a buddy, Papa Tico, coming to you live from a beautiful, beautiful fucking sunny Japan land. Look at this, we're in, we're in like suburb Japan, look at this, there's houses with yards and cars and all this shit, like, this is, I don't know, it's so fucking, it's so weird to see this part of Japan that I don't get to see that often. You know, I don't come out here that much. And, like, uh, we're in Chiba today, and we're going to talk about PewDiePie and everything. Uh, but, man, I'm just I'm just taking this all in. Like, it's so weird, again, like, seeing, you know, seeing this stuff. Seeing all these houses, like a house with a fucking yard, and, you know, like, the, like this looks like, you know, they say, like, Heiwa ni sugose. Like, live in peace. And, um, you got to say, it's really nice here. It's really nice. A nice looking town. Nice looking people. It reminds me of like Mori Ocho in Jojo. Uh, the fourth season, you know? Mori, 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 Mori. Mori Ocho Radio. Radio. You're listening to Mori Ocho. We love Mori Ocho. Um, I think I have to turn right here. Turning right, do do do. Racism is wrong. Do, 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 do. Um, but anyway, uh, welcome back to Tikio Rants for yours truly. Papa Tikio gives you guys a nice rant rave every fucking Tuesday and Thursday, and we usually talk about something related to my life or opinions about some kind of Japanese news or Japanese life stuff. Or you're supposed to stop at those, but. You know, eh, I did what I could. I did what I could and I did some more. Um, but anyway, yeah. Uh, uh, or we talk about people, specifically YouTube content creators. Now, there's a, there's a group of my viewers who hate, absolutely despise me talking about other YouTube creators. Uh, that are in Japan, and I, I don't really understand why. Like, I'm, I'm, I think, like, from the saturation uh, point of view, I get it. Like, you know, like, it's like, dude, we want to hear you talk about other stuff besides YouTube creators. Because, you know, I, I upload these bike videos twice a week, right? So that makes sense. And I'm trying to fix that, you know? I'm trying to, I'm trying to fix it. I'm trying to be better, Dad. I'm trying to be better, son. Um, but watch this. Watch this. This is what, this is what we do. We're going to put on my hazard lights. I'm just going to go this way. And I'm going to pretend like I've had an accident. I just need to move forward a little bit. I'm not cheating. I just, uh, you know, my bike, it was just, uh, you know, there's something happened. And I need to now get over here to the middle, to the front of the line. But yeah, okay, now, now everything's better. It's good. But, uh, yeah, anyway, I always start these off by shouting out the sponsors, so... To shout out to today's sponsor, Boom Nakano Shinbashi Guest House. Look, you might not be as rich as PewDiePie, even though I know you are. Technically, every one of you guys are watching this are billionaires, millionaires, whatever, and you're really good looking. So I understand that. But look, sometimes it's better to just get down in the dirt with regular people. And you know what you're supposed to do then? You just move into a guest house that's $400 a month, five minutes away from central Tokyo. And you just fucking stay there, and you you, 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 you you do it because you want to live with people again. You want to have that, that element of the, of the you know, salt of the earth people that you're meeting and talking to, and having real big boy conversations with. That's what you want, you know? That's what we all want. And so if you want that too, to save some money, then you go over, and you click that link down below, and you make a reservation for Nakano Shinbashi Guest House, and you tell them that Papa Tikio sent you. And I won't think any of the wiser of you, you know? Uh, and also, big shout out to NordVPN. Boom. Look, antiviruses, they protect everything. They protect uh, the city. They protect you from STDs. They protect you from even your toxic relationship with your mom. But you know one thing that they don't protect you from? Hackers or something. Anyway, point is, is that I get money if you guys sign up for this. And uh, 
uh, you know, it's uh, it's not a snake oil scam because I'm not just the, what is it? I'm not just the president of the company. I'm also a member. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, I was a member for a whole year before I realized that if I became affiliate, I could get a free fucking account. But uh, you know, that's uh, that's neither here. I mean, yeah, you're always going through that, so you know. Whatever, you can't do it. What way do I go? Left or right? Shit, Wakamatsu Cho. We're going Wakamatsu Cho. Shibashi no Wakamatsu Cho. Okay, we're going down this way. I don't remember which way to go, but we're figuring it out. Um, but anyway, yeah, uh, today we're talking about PewDiePie moving to Japan, so that was the sponsors. And my question is, what do you guys think of PewDiePie? We have like such a mixed bag of an audience here. I'm curious, what do you guys think of PewDiePie? Do you like him? Do you not like him? Uh, have you ever watched this stuff, you know? Tell me what you think of PewDiePie down below. And if you're too fucking lazy to do that, then just write down, uh, write down your favorite fruit. Mine is American cherries. Uh, fuck yeah. Mine is your mom's cherry. Um, but anyway. Yeah, so... Yeah, I'm, uh, you know, that's the question of the day, and where are we going? Well, we're in Chiba City right now, and I kind of remember where this is. God, I'm, I'm going down memory lane, because I used to live in Chiba City, and I haven't been back for a while, so now I'm just kind of, I just got done meeting with, uh, ex, ex, uh, or, you know, a friend, a friend of mine, you know, a friend of mine and her, and her new, uh, her new baby, and we were just hanging out and, uh, getting some food. And I like it. I appreciate it. She dressed up for me. That was uh, that was adorable. She didn't have to do that, but she did. Very nice. And um, yeah. Anyway, I just got done having uh, breakfast, <laughs> break lunch, a brunch with her. And uh, now I'm just cruising through the city, seeing uh, where I want to go and check out next. Is this is that Suga? That is Suga. Ha <laughs> ha. Dude, that's where she used to live. Let's go by her house really quick and be a stalker. This is cool. This is, uh, we're in Suga right now. This is a place where uh, my buddy Katz, the guy who basically taught me Japanese, this is where he lives. Or where he lived. We can even go by his apartment after we go by my friend's old house. I think they sold it. But, uh, God, it's so funny because her mom was kind of a hoarder. So, you know, and I, uh, <laughs> she, she called a gyosha san she, she hired a, uh, a person, <laughs> like a, a cleaner, to clean their house. And she said that they, they took, uh, they took like four or like two or three trucks worth of stuff from her house. Of just like, just stuff that they didn't need anymore. Oh my God, come on. Ugh, why were you in fifth gear? Ugh. But anyway, yeah, God, I haven't been to this part of the city in forever. So my friend, she was living in Suga. Which is like two stations away from uh, Chiba City. And uh, she's living in Yotsukaido now, which is three stations away from Chiba Station. And it's all, I think, still Chiba City. I think. But anyway, we're going to go and see, say, uh, look at her old house. Fuck, I haven't been around this area in forever. I mean, it's been so long since I've been in Chiba during the morning, you know? Like, last time I, I was in Chiba in the morning, I spent this horrible night at an internet cafe... I could barely get any sleep, but now I'm, uh, you know, I woke up after doing a camping trip, and now I'm here, and uh, I'm just exploring. This is fun. I don't remember if her, I think her house was over here. That's so funny. I'm going to tell her that I went by her house. Uh, my friend was a librarian at one of the schools I taught at when uh, I was a teacher around here, and... Um, she grew up. She was born and she grew up here. So which one was her house again? Oh, this is her house. Ogura. Yeah, this is totally her old house. Oh, my God. Oh, I guess her mom and her dad still live here. Her poor, her poor dad. He got cancer and then he, he fucking he fought it and he beat it. But then he got Parkinson's right afterwards. Oh, man, that poor guy, dude. He was always so cool and nice and giving me food and drinks and shit. Oh, man. But that's funny. Holy shit. I thought her parents were moving. I guess they're still there. I think she said they're going to move, like, within a year or something. But, yeah, man, like, oh, this is the fun thing that, like, you guys got to have 
uh, you know, you guys, this is another reason why you need a motorcycle. Because you can just go around town and just say hi to people and shit. And it's just such a beautiful fucking day outside that, like, you know, you can just go and just get lost. And it's not too hot right now. Look at those stairs. Fucking A. Oh my god. Who would want to go up those stairs? Um, but anyway, I mean, like, that's the fun thing. Like, you know, this is just... Like, look at this greenery. You're never going to see this, like, diversity in plants in Tokyo. It's always going to be, like, one type of tree and that's it. But look at that. Like, you can feel the cool breeze coming off the trees, you know? It's so nice. I don't know if it's maybe because, like, they absorb more oxygen or something or whatever, but it's a very nice, cool breeze going on my nice suntan skin. My arms are so burnt to shit from yesterday and today. I'm such an idiot. I never wear sunscreen. I just get burnt to shit. And it's so funny because my dad's skin's dark as fuck and my mom's skin's white as fuck. And I guess, like, when I was younger, I had darker skin. Or at least I didn't burn as easily. Now I'm, like, old and I, I got my mom's white people jeans. I burn. I burn. Burn them all. Okay, so anyway, apologies for that, guys. Oh, I just had to call my friend to tell him I was in Chiba to see if he wanted to meet up, but he's busy. And to be fair, like, that's a very not Japanese thing to do. I always call him last minute. And he's my Japanese grandpa, you know? He always... Well, technically, he's more around the age of my dad, you know? Like, I think he's, like, 70-ish, and I think my dad's around 60-ish, so like a slightly older Japanese dad but he's cool man I really appreciate him being in my life you know he's a good guy but anyway yeah we're just uh, cruising around the suburbs of Chiba right now just enjoying our time and it is funny like you know they say in Japanese like you could eat you could eat you know it's like you can you can like really just like take it easy you know and uh it's really nice about Chiba. Like, look at this. Just the scenery. I was going to turn right here. Let's look at this. Like, look at that. It's just like, there's actually grass in the park. There's no grass in the in Tokyo parks. You know, that, that is one thing that you have to keep in mind. Like, you know, Tokyo is such a, a closed... It, like, Tokyo is a combination of a bunch of cities into one place, you know? And, uh, like, they all have their own different personality. And it's just, it's interesting coming here and it's like, wow, this is a, this is a city, you know, like, but there's, it's like an American city back home, you know, it's just like, oh, everyone, there's like poor people that live in the shitty government housing, but then there's people that, the parents actually bought houses and stuff, and I don't know, it's interesting just going to see my friend and she's like, oh, my sister's married now too, and like, you know, my friend is a, she was a librarian at a Japanese school, and that her sister became a uh, nutritionist, or person that's in charge of uh, of making and planning the school lunches, you know? That's very cool. Huh. But anyway, um, yeah, so <laughs> this is a rant and ramble, and good thing we have a thing called timestamps, so you guys can jump around my rambling, but, you know, one of the reasons I'm really enjoying making these rants today is just like, it's really cool just to get out there and fucking, you know, just make something, you know, like make, like show off these Japanese neighborhoods while just talking to you guys, you know, this is so fun, oh my balls, uh, just like riding right up on this bike, oh my god, oh, oh, no fucking speed bump, oh, oh my balls, oh, hey, my balls, oh, that, that fucking, that park, I've been to that park so many times. Uh, we just came from there. Let's go this way. But anyway, it's just... This is... Uh, I wonder if PewDiePie got his place around here. Because the whole reason I wanted to do a video about PewDiePie in Japan was like, one, I wanted to talk about his time coming to Japan and uh, like him visiting and kind of how he's a hypocrite. Uh, but then also... It's like him just, um, you know, he said that he, uh, or he didn't say, but one of the news outlets said that he uh, bought property here in Japan. And I'm wondering, like, why didn't he ever move to Japan, you know? 
Like, usually when I talk about people, I say, like, what I know about them and then be critical. If I'm kind of being critical off the bat, like, why didn't he move here? You know, like, I heard that uh, his uh, apartment got burglarized. Burglarized? Burglarized? Ah, shit. Anyway, he got, you know, somebody broke into his house and they stole a bunch of his jewelry. And I'm like, why the fuck do you have so much jewelry at your house? Um, but anyway, it's just like, if he had been in Japan, the, the odds of that happening would have been a lot lower. But, um, you know, it's funny because it's like, PewDiePie represents the weeb everybody wants people to be. Like, PewDie like you know, Logan Paul's the, the Chad, you know, he doesn't really, doesn't really represent what people want from, like, somebody who likes Japan, you know, he kind of does whatever he wants, you know, films dead bodies, you know, it's so ironic, because everybody always goes to that fucking forest to film dead bodies, and it's like, yeah, that's the thing, too, it's like PewDiePie, you know, he went to, uh, he came to Japan, and he's, like, purposely not filming people, and he's, you know, I, I, like, right after Logan Paul's scandal or whatever, I think PewDiePie went to Japan, and he made another video called you know, the respect or something, in like weird font, and he's like, you know, Japan's all about that respect, okay, this is the way I gotta go to get out, yeah, and uh, I was just like, man, like, you know, like, I think secretly PewDiePie wanted to do what Logan Paul does, you know, he wanted to be like, yeah, man, like, doing that stuff, yeah, I don't know, like, like, just not giving a fuck. I mean, like, PewDiePie's always, uh, he sometimes speaks Japanese. Like, he says Japanese words in his Let's Plays and, you know, and when he does his meme reviews and stuff. And it's funny, but, like, uh, you know, like, God, if I had his kind of money, like, he's, he's like a multi, multi-fucking millionaire, right? Like, the guy makes, he's got tons of cash. So it's like, if I was him, yeah, I'd be buying properties in all different kinds of countries, you know? It's like that, that one song, you know? I went from Phoenix, Arizona, all the way to Tacoma, Philadelphia, Atlanta, L.A. Except, like, not just, like, America. <laughs> you know, what is it like, uh... Now, yeah, fuck, what, what, what is the song where they're talking about, like, um, you know, what is it, uh, in Tokyo, god damn it, the, like, I can't, I, I thought I, ugh, why can't I think of this song, it's like, yo, you know, in Tokyo, Japan, they got, I don't know, whatever, fucking old rap song or something, oh, say you, I remember this place opened up right when I, was living here and the parking lot they always made you pay for the goddamn parking lot but uh anyway this is where cats used to live let me show you guys this really quick oh it's the next street up whatever but anyway we're in suga that's suga ganka that's suga eye clinic and this is the place where cats used to live my my japanese teacher the guy who basically taught me how to study Japanese. I used to come to this place all the time. I would park my car over in the parking lot over there and I would come up these stairs and I would go to his apartment. Yeah, cats lived in this building for God, a couple years probably. Chiba Guranse. And uh, yeah, he was always just changing stuff in there and just, man, you know. It's so funny because the friend I met with today, you know, like, I, I always say, like, the people that watch my videos, like, you know, the people that I make videos for will watch my videos, but I'm pretty sure that PewDiePie won't watch mine, because he's got, he's got tons of videos being made about him. I really doubt he gives a shit about what some guy in Japan has to say about him. That'll get, like, 2,000 views on his video. Um, but, you know, it's, uh, you know... It's just, it's funny. It's ironic like that. Uh, but, yeah, you know. Fucking, um... Suga Station. Gyoza no Osho. I used to love going here. Gyoza no Osho. I had a friend named Jay who lived here. And, uh... I, man, I've... He's, he's, like, really big into Bitcoin now. And I haven't seen him forever. Fuck. 
I'd love to get in contact with him again. But he quit Facebook. I guess I could try calling him on my phone. I don't know if he changed his number. But I'm, I'm curious, like, if you, PewDiePie would watch this video. Because I really doubt he would. I mean, it, it is like we are kind of known, like, six, de six degrees of Kevin Bacon kind of thing. Like, I know his, uh, what is it, like, I know Kevin, what is it, like, I know Toki Doki Traveler, or at least she knows of me. And there's a bunch of other people that know of me. Was this Urdu's house? Nah. Damn it. I'm trying to remember where my friend used to live. And he had two cars. Nakajima. Nah. Ah. My friend Ryu. Ryu Zaki. Ryu Taro. He used to live around here, but I forgot what fucking house he lived at. And he quit Facebook, too. And I checked my phone. I don't think I have his contact info anymore. But his dad always had, uh, his dad always had two cars in the front, and they were always, like, Mercedes-Benz or something. His dad was ex-Yakuza. I wanted to, I wanted to say hi. I remember he got really angry at me one time because I showed up at his house and I just rang the doorbell. And he's like, we don't do that in Japan. Your dad, uh, you know, my dad thought you were, you were, like, a rival gangs person or something. I'm like, well, are you, because, like, my buddy Ryu, I met him during a, a festival here. And, you know, his dad's ex-Yakuza, and he sent him to live in America so he'd be safe and stuff and also learn Japanese or learn English. And so my buddy Ryu became super fluent in English, and uh, then he came back to Japan. Is this Okubo? No, nah, I don't think that's him. God, I don't remember what his house looks like. But all these houses seem fairly new. Ugh, garbage truck smell. Garbage day. Ugh. Okay, well, I give up. <laughs> I, I want to go find my old friend's uh, house anyway. And say hi to him. Yeah, but anyway, this is the tiny area around Suga Station. Like, isn't that cool? This is its own little fucking... It's its own little community, its own little island, kind of, in Chiba City. And a lot of people like to live here because it's on the commuter train to Tokyo, and it goes directly to Shinagawa and Tokyo Station from here. So if you want to, you know, have a good place to stay that's far away from Chiba, but you can still take one train all the way there, this is the place to go. And that's why the rent here is a little bit higher than other places in Chiba. Because a lot of people, you know, you've got... You don't have a movie theater here. You don't have a Gilmu Super. You don't have a wholesale one. But you have, like, a Walmart kind of food place. And you have bars. And you have, like, a post office, banks. Holy shit, yeah, they got Chiba Bank here. Damn, I haven't been to Chiba Bank in forever. I could have gone there and gotten my, uh... Gotten my shit taken care of today. But I didn't bring my stuff. Yeah, man, I haven't been around this area in forever, but, uh... Yeah, it looks like it didn't really change that much. It's kind of... I don't know if that's good or bad. If it's like, oh, man... You know, it's like that scene in Clerks, too, where he's like... It's comforting to know that some things just never change. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I like the idea that, uh... That it's like, you know... Like, all my friends that lived in this area, they've moved on, you know? My buddy Jay, I'm pretty sure he moved to Tokyo. And Ryu, I don't know what happened to him. But I'm guessing he moved back to America, or he moved to Tokyo. And then, uh... You know, my, my other buddies, I'm gonna go to my buddy Ibu's house and see if he's there today. I'm guessing his wife and kids are working. I don't remember exactly what house was his, but I'm gonna try to find it. Because I haven't talked to him in forever. And I'm curious if his kids are going to school or they're doing remote learning. God, I haven't seen his kids since they were in middle school. I've seen some foreigners walking around. Interesting. I saw two foreigners already here. Very interesting. Um, yeah, we're going to go to my buddy Naoki's place. And uh, then we're going to go to Ibu's place. I'm going to say hi to people. 
and then we're gonna head home. But this is a good day because we're able to make a shit ton of rants. But uh, anyway, it's like, Tiko, why aren't you talking about PewDiePie? I thought this video was gonna be about PewDiePie. Um, God damn it, you're slow, dude. Come on, my balls. Say hello to to Achiba Monorail, guys. Monorail, monorail. Something, something, monorail. But anyway, I just, you know, I wonder when Chiba, or what is it, not Chiba, but PewDiePie, he said he wanted, you know, he bought a house in, in Japan. Where did he buy the house? You know, I heard that information, but like, what prefecture? Where did he buy the house, you know? I mean, that's the one thing, too, that, like, is nice is that, like, if you're a celebrity, people probably won't recognize you here if you're a celebrity outside of Japan. Like, I remember there's this YouTube video of Vin Diesel, uh, and he's walking around Japan. He's like, none of these guys know me. They just think I'm a regular guy. And that's like, uh, I don't know, I thought that was cool. You know, he's like, the only people that recognize me are other foreigners. That's crazy, bro. Oh, shit, look at that. Chiba monorail. The Chiba monorail is actually kind of expensive, you know? Damn. But, uh, yeah, I just, I don't know. I, I figure, like, if you had the money, guys, would you live in Chiba? Would you live in this place, the place that I'm driving around in right now? Because it's like, PewDiePie, I, I think that he would want to live here. Like, I think it's just like, yeah, man, it's something different. It's unique, it's special, it's calm. You know what I mean? Like, look at this right now. It's fall, but it feels like spring. It's nice and cool breeze, but it's nice and sunny outside. Like, fuck summer, dude. I tried to go out during summer and I nearly fainted. It was just really fucking hot. But here, I'm feeling pretty good, you know? And we're going by my friend's house, my friend's uh, business. I really doubt he's there unless he's cleaning or something. But we're going to go by his business and say hi and see if he's there. I doubt he's there because it's a it's a nighttime business. But my friend Naoki runs this this bar called uh, Tetsu. I think it was. What is it called? Yokomiyaki Monja. Yep, Tets. Yeah, it's over for 4 p.m. Let's see if he's uh, if he's there. Okay, don't tip over. You're tipping over. Okay, gotta put him closer to the curb. Ah, uh, the microphone. Too much weight on here. Okay. Just need to wait for a slight breeze to. No, it's nice and stuck. Good. <sighs> Let's knock on the door and say hi. He's got the shutter open, so maybe he's uh, maybe he's here. Let's say hi. I can't remember if he lives above here or not. Yeah, Tiny Zala. Yeah, Hiroki, Naoki, Kayoko. Guess he's not here. Huh. 
just wanted to dip in and say hi. But anyway, if you guys have watched my old videos, check out my video, uh, my Japanese brother, uh, Naoki, or whatever. Um, this is his bar. If you're ever in Chiba, check it out. It's uh, Okonomiyaki Monjiyaki Tetsu. It's a pretty good place. But um, anyway, I guess he's not here. It is the middle of the day, and it is a bar. <sighs> I do wonder how my little solar power battery is going to do in this heat of all this fucking sun shining on it. It would be nice if it really gets bound down to business. Whew. Does he live above here? I can't remember. Let's, let's call him or let's try one more time. I got the keys in there already. Yeah, the keys are in there. Ugh. Oh man, my arms are all burnt to shit. Let's ring the doorbell really quick and see if he's there. are burnt to shit. Look at this. <laughs> nice. <sighs> okay, well, he's not home. Let's go see if my buddy Ibu's family still lives in the same spot, if I can remember it. His house was pretty iconic, though, because it was in front of a hill. Can go say hi. <laughs> Balls, balls, balls. There we go. I mean, like balls, right? Balls. How long have we been going for? 37 minutes. Holy shit. I didn't really talk about anything. Just exploring Chiba. But uh, I guess we can change this from. I wanted to talk about PewDiePie. Ended up just exploring Chiba. Let's go through here. This is cool. Do, 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 do. Okay, this is, uh... Boop, 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 boop. Boop, boop. so funny I never really explored this area again like you know it's either you're walking or you're driving a car you know I didn't like doing the whole car driving thing everywhere because then you'd have to find parking for it and if you park somewhere too long you get in trouble for it so but here let's go down this way this will lead me I think to the neighborhood I wanted to go to Maybe. Very cool, very cool. Yeah, when I was in Chiba, I had an African buddy named Ibu, and uh, he lived here, and he had a, he opened up an izakaya here, uh, but it, it didn't do good. I mean, I think he just went into debt. That's all it was. Like, he just went into debt. And, uh... Yeah, like, let, let's go see the izakaya. I think it was over here. Yeah, I think it was this place. Where was it? Huh. Might have been there. Huh. Yeah, now it's all gone. 
from Denny's. Oh, hi, Denny. Let's go home, Denny. Yeah, it's funny, like, thinking about my African buddies, like, that I lived here. We had Tony from Ethiopia. We had Itoro from Nigeria. Had Ibu from Senegal. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Nah. Get away from me. Suzumabachi. Ah. Hornets, man. Hornets have just been fucking with me today. God damn. I want to make a U-turn. Can I make a U-turn? Man, it is just such a nice fucking day outside. It's just so nice. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that place with the steps, the MJ place was a fucking Ibu's place. Yeah, my, my African buddies, you know, like, that was the cool thing about living in Chiba is that I didn't really have any Western friends, you know, aside from Katz and, and his wife at the time. Like, everybody else was just African. You know? Everybody else was uh, African or Sri Lankan. Like, there's no Western people. And, like, that was the, that was really nice about, about Chiba is that, like, you, it, like, forced you to be friends of other foreigners that from countries that I really didn't have any interest in you know I remember I went on a date with this girl from Uganda just because uh, Mr. Ishihar was like I met a black woman today you should take her out for dinner and I'm like okay I didn't I didn't know what he was talking about but he like he's always so nice and he helps me out so I was like okay I'll take this chick out to dinner I went to go get sushi and in fact I think she's in one of my uh, old Tikyo Sam intros see a cute uh cute black lady with like kind of a bop like what do you call it like one of those like bonnet hair things or whatever and that's her this old guy's going fast I don't know if I can can I get there in time yeah yeah this is the this is the commuter town this is the commuter spot yep yep and this is the place where Ibu lived now I just gotta remember which house is his I remember his house was on a hill. Look at all these houses. They're so nice, right? They're all they're all built high because of uh, flooding. You know, this is a flood area, a flood a possibility area. And, uh, yeah. And I remember when Ibu moved in, all the fucking neighbors called the cops because we did a barbecue outside. And the cops were like, oh my god, it's so loud, please. Please do something. Oh, huh? look. This has got to be his house. Look at it. They've got... They got, like, uh, fucking skateboards and shit here. And he's got the Senegal flag. This has got to be him. Also, if you guys made it this far, do me a favor and smash that like button. Hit the subscribe bell and subscribe button to get notified when there's future videos that come out. And make sure to check out the playlist at the end of this with all the other fucking rants that you guys can check out. Anyway, I'm Papa Tikio. Peace.